you know they asked for address proof and whatever we submitted they didn't accept it even my temporary g1 license was not accepted <laughs> so that's crazy juicy as well hello beautiful people out there welcome back to my channel rami stories so today i'm going to show you guys some homemade uh, burger i suppose so this is actually all the all all this is made in home basically i'll just show you guys what it looks like look at this homemade little burger we have got uh, bread we have got cheese slice and we look at this this is actually we bought it at al premium this is actually uh, goat lamb uh, meat uh, kind of keema kind of a thing and then we made we put happen to put some sort of uh, tomatoes and some uh, cabbage and, and all so yeah this is pretty much the homemade um, <laughs> uh the homemade burger <laughs> yeah if you have to buy this outside it would have cost you like too much <laughs> so trying out our homemade uh, burger hmm pretty tasty look at this look at this juicy as well wow ma unbelievable seriously This is made in home, not at any McDonald's or any Tim Hortons. So yeah. So today's plan is to get our uh, OHIP cards. So we wanted to go and apply for health cards. So since I got my driving um, license or uh, G1 uh, license, that's act that actually acts as a proof of address. So but again we are a little confused. So that acts for myself, but what about my spouse and my little kid? So we are confused, but still we want to go ahead and see what happens. And then I'll update you guys. So right now. to the service ontario to get our health cards let's go for it okay my baby girl mavi always running run chalo chalo slowly <laughs> she gets up on her own basically she just goes and stands near the lift so she should stand and she should come and push that button so yeah so here is the lift so finally reach the service ontario It's at Sida Mall, Sida or Mall, Sida Brem, Sida or Brem Mall. So that is what it looks like basically. So as we walk into this Sida Brem Mall, upon entry, we could find the route map of this store map. I guess this is like a store map, and you can see that service center right is to the extreme left, right? I mean, not to the extreme left, just that one. So it shows left, and we took a left and try to walk in. It looks like you know a little small store. Not yeah, too many people again. Out here, <laughs> not many people though. I hope uh, our work goes smooth in service center. Come, okay, finally, it's out there. Found our service counter here finally. It looks like a small store though. So let's go inside and get our work done. Into my gym right now. It's about six thirty. So today in the morning we visited the uh, service center here, and I'm going to tell you guys or walk you guys how did it go. Ontario. The main thing which we went was to apply for our health cards. So the only thing they ask for is to give your um, address proof. You know, since you don't have any address out here, like you know, in order to give an address proof, you might need like one of the items. Basically, they just need only one address proof. It can be your um, rental agreement, which we don't have, or uh, it can be your driving license. And again, you know, if it is like your current or temporary driving license, they are they are asking for some other details. So you know, one of my friend got his OHIP, like or on the on to your health ID, just by submitting his temporary license. So, but it didn't work in my case. So there are also like a laundry list of items which you can submit as a proof of your address, like property tax document, or you can submit your bank statement and things like that. Since I opened my bank account very recently, I couldn't get that. Maybe probably end of this month, or maybe in one or two weeks' time, I should get it. They also said, you know, I should get my G1, uh, right? That's the exam which I, which I gave. Like that's the driving license which I have right now. I should get the actual card. So, but they gave a slip, which is like a temporary driving license. I can use that to drive a car. But they don't happen to accept it. I'm not sure. Like it, it might be different, a different service under your places. But again, you know, you can actually get a photo ID card. 
And this photo ID card is basically for people who don't have a driving license. You know, they, I told, I also need a photo ID card and or your uh, ID card. They said, you know, this this can be done only if you don't have a driving license. So, uh, you know, your driving license itself acts as your ID card, photo ID. So you may not need a separate photo ID if you have a driving license already. So that's the deal. I did a little bit of uh, warm up sort of exercises. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today, but I will update you guys at the end of my workout. There was no swimming also yesterday. It was under maintenance. The pool was under maintenance. Hope it is ready today. <laughs> so after my workout, I came to the store to buy some vegetables. Look at the cost of tomatoes. That's like $1.99. It's like two dollars for 450 grams. That may be 120 for almost 450 grams. That would be like around 240 rupees for almost a kilo. I would say like 900 grams for 240 rupees, right? So that's the cost. You could say like you know 250 rupees per per a kilo, almost like. In India, it would be around like 30 rupees or 40, or at max 50. Yeah. Mostly at times I I bought tomatoes for around 10 rupees also per kilo. And this is the cost of the chilies. It's like four dollar forty nine cents. That's like four and off. Again, that's for you know three hundred grams or two fifty grams, I suppose. It's kind of like little expensive with that this amount of money in India. I could have easily bought like around uh, one kilo or maybe more than one kilo. Look at it. Almost five dollars for like uh, three hundred grams. Right? That's like three hundred rupees for three hundred grams. Like each gram of a chili costs you one rupee. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I understand. Like uh, all the vegetables are kind of little expensive, and it's kind of a it's kind of harsh for me to compare it with Indian prices. But just to just to give you an idea, you know how much uh, we spend on vegetables out here, you know. So yeah, four dollars for these bigger chilies, you know. So yeah, moving on. This is the cost of uh, bananas. Seventy nine uh, do point seventy nine dollars. That's like eighty cents for a pound. That's like almost forty rupees for half a kilo or maybe 80 rupees per a kilo I think 80 rupees per a kilo for banana is kind of reasonable I believe because look at the bananas they are of good quality and now I again went to buy this lamb halal lamb kebab so that is a chicken burger you saw that right in the beginning of this video I showed you that burger thing so this is the thing which we used actually we can buy this this is like around 12 dollars maybe around 6 or 7 pieces comes out it's really nice so now moving on to buy some eggs so these are actually white eggs, that's like 4 dollars for around 12 eggs, right? So that's around 12 eggs for around 240 rupees. One egg is around like 20 rupees, right? So that's the cost of the egg. That's again white egg, but you know, uh, I, last time I bought like, um, yeah, let me put this in my basket and then uh, move on from here. So yeah, let me put this X in the basket and then head on to other things. So here you go guys, I found some quail X as well. That's like around 349, might be 200 rupees for 12 X. I never ate this quail X, maybe I should try one. Not now, but maybe some other time. Looks kind of very different to the chicken X. Yeah, so but now I found this uh, brown X. So but I wanted to eat this brown X, so I would like to drop the white X and buy this brown X. This is like 429, but white X are like 399, just the difference of like 30 cents. Like around 30 rupees difference, so I thought okay let me go for the brown X. I happened to put back the white X and then bought the brown X. So that's what it is guys, that's like 429, again uh, 250 rupees for 12 X, little expensive. Hello you guys, can you guys see the rocket? Oh my god, that's crazy, you can see the rocket flying around, it's crazy man. Yeah, hello guys, to give you an overview about my workout, so what I did was like, I did like initial, um, I think uh, 5 minutes of uh, cardio, like which I did like cycling, to just uh, keep my blood flowing and then you know, before the start of, before start of doing any lifts or uh, any weight lifting, so I did like 5 minutes of cardio. And then uh, I quickly jumped on to walk on my back today, you know, like I did like three sets of uh, lateral pull down, you know, uh, with not so heavy weights just to get the rhythm going. And then uh, I did like uh, three sets of uh, one arm uh, barbell row, uh, so that was okay, it was not so, uh, I'm not sure if it is effective or not, but uh, <laughs> I didn't feel anything. Maybe I'm using uh, not so much heavier weights. 
and then later on I did like three sets of uh, deadlift. Oh man, for deadlift I think I would have used like 20 pounds on uh, either sides, and then uh, the bar itself is like quite heavy. So yeah, so those are the three things I did, and then uh, that's it. I happened to finish this workout, little workout, not taking it too heavy, taking it easy, you know, just trying to enjoy and uh, enjoy my workout. And then later on, quickly moved on to my swimming. I did like maybe three, four laps of swimming. So once I'm done with three, four laps, I happen to sit in the sauna for like uh, five, ten minutes, not much. And then you know, I went to take a bath, <laughs> took a bath, hot water bath, and then and then came to Al Premium, which is right beside the LA Fitness Center, and then bought some groceries, which you would have seen uh, in the previous bits. So. That's what it is. So to give you an overview, today in the morning we visited Service Ontario uh, to get our health cards, but it didn't happen. You know they asked for address proof, and whatever we submitted, they didn't accept it. Even my temporary G1 license was not accepted. <laughs> so that's crazy. But one thing I could see is that you know I would get a statement uh, end of the month. So probably I will use that and then uh, get this health card going. Probably I'll add my wife also. Uh, as a dependent or maybe like a joint account in the bank account, so you know it's like it will should be facing both our uh, dress proofs, you know. That's because you know right now we are staying in a temporary accommodation. We couldn't get a an agreement or the lease document, so that's one of the key things. And we don't even want to wait for long to get this health card. <laughs> we are thinking about it, so probably tomorrow uh, I need to visit the bank and then uh, get this going. So that's what it is. And then yeah, walk out and then going back home. So yeah, that's a wrap for today, guys. So I hope uh, you liked my video, and then uh, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Keep subscribing. Until then, see you next time. Adios, amigos.